everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Okay guys, today I'm super excited. I was not going to record this and make a video of this and my husband who never ever gets into my YouTube business unless I ask him to do so or ask his opinion, said to me, Shawnee, you have got to make a video of how you made this bee box. This bee box I came up with yesterday. It is for a project I'm doing that I'm super excited about, by the way. And I made this out of tumbling tower blocks bees that I made out of hot glue and a bee mold from Timu. I'll show you that. And then these little sticks that came in the 100 pieces of wood from the Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree ribbon. So basically even the glue came from Dollar Tree that I used to make my bees. So, and these are all, I made sure all of the honeycombs were removable with the exception of the first one. Okay, so here we go, guys. And the first thing you need to do is I have two glue guns, guys. I have this arrow glue gun and I have my diehard Sherbonder. Now, I once put some of the glitter glue in my Sherbonder and I said I will never do it again and by the grace of God I have another mini glue gun that I can use and I put my the arrow one and I put my glitter glue in this and this is fantastic for the glitter glue. What we're gonna do I purchased this off of Timu guys this was like 79 cents. This is the best silicone mold okay what i'm going to do make sure that like there's no hair in there or anything let's see a speck of something in there okay we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our glue in our mold and i want to pay special attention to the head and then we're going to go just like this i'm going to put it in each wing as especially as well okay i'm going to do and i find i've um, tried this with regular glue, hot glue as well, and I painted them. And after we're finished with these, I'll show you guys a comparison because I definitely like the gold glitter glue for my bees a lot better. We're going to go ahead. We're going to make a couple sets of these actually. All right, get this out of here. And you don't have to worry about anything because you can cut that right off any excess cut it right off. I make sure they're nice and full, just like that. Pat them down a few times. Sorry if this is loud on camera, guys. Okay, now we're going to set these aside. What you'll need for our bee box is, let me see, 12, 13, 14, 15 tumbling tower blocks. And a little piece of wood. Now guys, it doesn't have to, this is a piece of wood from the 100 pack. Again, now it doesn't have to be these, but this measures one and a half inches by three quarters of an inch. Now guys, this doesn't have to be perfect but it should fit right on your box. Now what we're going to do first, I've got my wood glue. You can use any wood glue that you like. I actually love this wood glue from the Dollar Tree. It's my go-to and some hot glue. We're going to use both. We're going to go ahead and start building the frame and you'll also need some floral wire or very thin wire. Okay, now how we're going to put our box together. This is our base. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put some, let's see, hot glue right on the end, right here. Not hot 
glue, wood glue. Did I say hot glue? <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and put some hot glue right here in the center. Not much hot glue, guys. So you don't want much. You just need enough to get that hole going on. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put this together. And I'm doing this on my silicone mat. And the reason I'm doing that is because it will not stick. The hot glue will not stick to my silicone mat that's underneath. So I can pick this up when I'm ready to do so. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the same thing on this end. We're going to use our wood glue. Right this. Okay. And we're going to do a spot of hot glue. Just like this. There you go. All right. And there we go, just like so. All right. All right. Going to repeat that on this end as well. Same here real quick. And there we go. So basically we're building a square with our tumbling tower blocks. Okay. And the beautiful thing about this, guys, it does not have to be perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to take three of the tumbling tower blocks. And we're just going to place those. We want to build the frame of them first. Just like this, okay? okay? Keep them nice and even. This is very simple. Now, take some hot glue, and I want to go through this entire thing with you. I'll probably edit this quite a bit, guys, so it's not so long for you, but it's super important to get these just right on here. They don't have to be perfect. That's not what I'm saying, but you want them to line up good, just like that. You want them to line up and adhere very well to your box. And on the inside, I want to pull out any glue strings because that is where our honeycombs are going to go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to build two more upper parts just like we built our base. Place that hot glue in the center. Just like that. Now... We want to go and just place both of our frames on top of one another, just like that. Here's what your box should look like so far, okay? Just like this, okay? It does not have to be perfect. Now, we're going to take four of the cube blocks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to turn our box over. I'm going to place some wood glue and some hot glue, and we're going to place our little blocks on each corner, just like this. And there we go. Just like that. I'm going to try to get these as even as I can, because these will be what our box stands on. Just like this. All right. All right. Uh, 
Now, now we're going to let this set a second, and while this is setting and kind of curing, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our bees out and hope that they turned out, you know, it looks like they're pretty good, perfect. Bees out of here. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up again. We're going to come back and we're going to trim our bees and we're going to make our honeycombs. I want to go ahead and I want to trim our bees up. We just need to trim all the excess that's on them. If you see anything you do not like, just go ahead and trim them up. Don't be afraid to grab the... I use my wire cutters actually, guys, and I just trim these puppies right up. I do prefer the glitter glue for making my bees rather than your plain glue. Just like so. You see those? Okay. Now I've cut three pieces of cardboard, just the thin cardboard that is one inch by two and a quarter inches. Okay, now what we're going to do is I ran out of my Dollar Tree ribbon that I made my honeycombs with and I only put them on four of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use three this time and I'm taking the little sticks that came in the Dollar Tree pack and I've measured them across and I'm just going to go ahead and simply cut them just like this. You will need eight of them. We're going to use three, make the three mobile, and the other five we're going to glue to the top of our bee box. Okay, just like this. I'm literally just doing this, guys. I'm just going to hot glue some on. Actually, we're going to use our wood glue. Sorry. like this you have a spatula you can use a little spatula for this so it won't stick to your fingers this is going to dry clear so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here and repeat the same for the other two I prefer the honeycomb ribbon but I just did not have any on hand, guys, and I wanted to show you guys this project, although these definitely look like honeycomb. Okay. Just like this. We have to cut a little bit of our ribbon off, a little more. I purchased this ribbon at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And again, it does lose some glitter, but that's okay. You can always spray this if you want with a sealant. Put some Mod Podge over it. So it doesn't lose glitter right like this. There we go. All right. Okay. Now after these dry, we're going to flip these over and we're going to place the ribbon on the other side of our cardboard as well. We're simply going to trim around the ribbon on the cardboard. I've previously did the other two, just cut right around them, just like so. Now we're going to take our little sticks make sure they're okay they're called Vesetic all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hot glue these right to the top just like that see how that looks and I think this looks like golden honey I almost think I may like this better than the one I created yesterday love it all right, now this very first honeycomb, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place in our box, just like so, just like this. And we're actually going to glue this one in. We want this one permanent. Look at that, guys. That's beautiful. Oh, my gosh, that looks so good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to permanently glue this one in. 
So I'm going to put just a couple dabs of hot glue right here. All right. We're just going to glue it in. We don't want much. Just like that. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It's like little honeycombs. Come on, camera focus. There we go. So cute. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a couple of sticks. And I'm doing them because they're rounded on one end and square at the other guys. I just do them in the opposite direction of one another. Just placing some hot glue right here. If you want to put some wood glue, you can, but I'm just placing some hot glue for now. They do not have to be butted up together. They can be apart. You want them relatively close, but they do not have to be like right on top of one another. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do another one. We're going to place a honeycomb and we're going to put a honeycomb in our very last slot. We want to make sure our honeycomb, there's a, a mobile honeycomb in the very last slot of our bee box. And there we have it, guys. I think this is adorable. You can go ahead and you can remove your little honeycombs. So, so cute. Now, what we're going to do next is I've grabbed my Antique Wax by Waverly. I'm going to wet my brush really well in here in my water. Get a good, good water flow going on. Go ahead and put it right in the lid of my Antique Wax. Okay, I'm going to grab a paper towel. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stain our bee box, just like so. Go ahead and get that beautiful stain on there. Makes it nice and rustic. All right, I'm going to get this finished. We'll be right back. So we're letting our bee box dry really well. Now we're going to take some apple barrel white, just like so. I've stained our piece of wood. And we're going to take a very thin brush, very thin tipped brush, dip it in some water. Smooth it all out. And we're going to write the word honey. Okay, we're going to set this aside to dry. Now, we want to start working on our bees. I'm going to go ahead and get these out of the mold. Put some more in the mold. And I absolutely love this glitter glue for this, guys. This is, yeah, it works absolutely wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and trim these up. Actually, I'll put these over here. And we'll start working on these. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So I know I haven't trimmed them yet. All right. Right like this. Now these have been trimmed. What I'm going to do is I have some black Ceramicote. Love this paint. This is from Hobby Lobby. I only paid 47 cents for it. I think I bought about five of these guys. Next to the Dollar Tree's chalk paint, the black chalk paint. Um, I absolutely love this paint. Now I'm going to go ahead again and I'm going to get that same brush that we used to write our honey word. I'm just going to do that back and forth. If I need leverage, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use one of the pick sticks. Okay, I'm going to put it right between the bee's wing, just like so. Now, we want our bee to have a black bum, okay? Then, just go in them crevices, guys, very lightly. I'm just doing this as light as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going right between the wings here. 
just like so. And we're going to color nine Bs. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get his face just like this. Right in here. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and put our sign on. I've taken some of the floral wire. I've ran it through both holes. I've punched two holes in my little sign. We're going to go ahead. I'm just going to apply this with some hot glue right to the back of our bee box. And I'm going to kind of slam it. It just gives it kind of that look. I like that. Okay, now what we're going to do for our bees we're going to take a piece of the wire, we're going to snip it off, just like so, All right, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to twist this on one end, guys, and you can always cut off more if you need to. Just like this. Can you see that at all? There we go. Just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a lighter. I'm going to turn my B over and I'm going to heat this. Get it nice and hot and just push in like so right into our B. Just like that. And if you want to, you can go ahead and just place a wee bit of hot glue on top of that. Just some regular hot glue for security. Set that aside to dry. And we're going to repeat that on the other eight bees as well. For a couple of our bees, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a curly cue on the end. We're going to go ahead and we're going to place a bit of hot glue. Just like so. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put this curly cue right there. We're going to hold that down, get it to where it's going to look like the bee's in flight, just like that. I think that is so cute. Two more of our bees and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place some bees on our bee box. We're going to put one right here like he's going in for honey, okay, or to make honey. So we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom like so just like that we're gonna write on there okay we're gonna put one going up this way just like that I'm not gonna put any squiggly cues on this one I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue it right on because it's going so close to the bottom of our bee box just like that I absolutely adore these boxes, and they're useful. You can use them. You can take your honeycombs right out of there. I think this turned out absolutely adorable, guys. All right, and if you like what you've seen today, go ahead, give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription. You'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.